Shabbat Shalom. This week's Torah portion, Bahar, is just one chapter, chapter 25 of the book of Leviticus. In this Torah portion, the Jubilee year is established. Called Yovel, the Parsha explains how every 49 years, seven years of seven years, and the seventh month on Yom Kippur, the shofar of freedom is to be sounded throughout the land to all its inhabitants. This iconic verse, Proclaim Liberty Throughout the Land, is inscribed on the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. The Parsha tells us that on the 50th year, it is hallowed. Kadesh, the same word for hallowing Shabbat, the same word for hallowing the holidays. The year of freedom is a holy year in which human beings are once again restored to their rightful place. Everyone is respected. All debts are released. All obligations forgiven. The year of freedom is a Sabbath of the soul for the entire society. We are commanded to see the whole year in special relationship with each other as humans. We read Bahar during the unique days of counting the Omer. Counting the Omer from Passover to Shavuot should connect the dots from physical freedom to spiritual freedom. The ultimate freedom in Torah is our departure from Egypt, from bondage from another people to our freedom, to arrive at Sinai in our relationship with God. The ultimate goal of that relationship is to form unique and just relationships with each other. The Torah demands that we do this all throughout the year. But on the 50th year, we do it on a much larger scale. When there's no freedom for one, there's no freedom for all. We Jews should be counting down to the day when that great shofar will once again be sounded for all people, not just on the 50th year. Sound the freedom for immigrants, for women's rights, for our democracy. And while we're waiting to hear that shofar blast, We should constantly be acting on our obligations to make that happen soon. When there's no freedom for one, there's no freedom for all. Shabbat Shalom.